What is happening, you lot? Welcome back to the Hashtag United channel. I'm here with Lee Hurst. Oh, it's not Lee Hurst. It's Jamie Hurst. Hey. The better Hurst brother. Where are we today? We are in Bowers and Pitsy today. But no, we are not playing Bowers and Pitsy. We're playing Frenford in the FA Vars. Guys, we love the FA Vars. And you may remember, we've been here for pre-season. You've got Bowers Burgers over there somewhere. And uh, but yeah, they're, they're building a nice little stand there as well. But uh, yeah, we came here for pre-season. Uh, so we're familiar with the ground. We haven't played a lot of games on 3G this se uh, 4G uh, this season, have we? No, we haven't. But it's a good opportunity to play some good football and get the ball down and pass. Let's go. Right, so basically everyone, yeah? Even though me and my brother have our differences, obviously his HDMI broke the other day because uh, someone accidentally kicked his wire whilst he was playing console with the boys and it snapped. So I had a spare one. So I thought, let me bring it to football today and give it to the bro. It's all love, let's go give it to him. No way. Don't, I'm gonna cry. Oh, bro. I can play pro clubs again. I love you. And good news is I've got a PS4 too, so I can play as well. Yeah! <laughs> What's happening, Rick? You get your sweet geese, yeah? Oh, are we out tonight? <laughs> have you seen Jacko lately? Yeah, I have. Where is he? <gasps> Jacko! Did you see that? <laughs> How have we been? Update us. Eight weeks today, um, no real improvement really. Still broken. What more do you want, Luke? <laughs> Got nothing in me, mate. Everyone's so quiet, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you wearing as well? Uh, Cindy gave him to me. I love fans. Is there um, anything you want to tell the fans? They've been loving you, thinking you're on fire at the moment. Anything you want to say? No, no, just thank you, really. It makes my day. Um, okay, don't crack. I'm a massive smile on my face. There's a lot of hugs today. A lot of hugs today. We're loving today. Tim's like, I don't want one. Tim, you don't want a hug? I never want a hug, mate. Who has got the deadest trim right now? You. Look at you, look at you. Hold on, but you can still see my waves, bro. <laughs> the return of Adj. No, I like. <laughs> Whose birthday is it tomorrow? Sunday's coming. How old are you going to be? 18. Why did you put it on the boy? I'm 18 now. Jamie's 40. <laughs> Goalkeepers being the most serious men in football. What's going I'm on? I'm not today? actually that serious. Well, I am when I'm playing, but not. I'm just a. This not kid, yeah, so serious. Walks up to you and say, "You're gonna kill you." Then, but I'm like the nicest guy in football. You are. You're the nicest. I am. I'm not horrible. Beats. You like that? You like that? Yeah, you like Welcome back to another episode of Don't Move. Don't move. Today we got Cav Clark. So Cav Clark, don't move. Bang on, Pat Clark, don't move. What's going on, Tasha? What's the latest? The latest? Yeah. I'm injured again. Again? Yeah. Uh, just twisted my oh, ankle again the, the other night. Uh, obviously, just overcompensating, over -compensating, I think. But um, it shouldn't be as long as, as the grind, I'm hoping. I thought you'd done a real in the middle there, by the way. Uh -huh. I thought you'd done a real in the middle. <laughs> Cheers, mate. I've done all right. I know, first game in a long while. But now I've got to say that again, but we just keep working, man. Be back soon. Willow, what's the latest, mate? Um, so I've had uh, surgery on my hand, um, so I sliced a couple of nerves, a tendon and an artery, so, uh, so I'm hoping to have this cast on for about three more weeks uh, and then I can start some short term rehab and uh, hopefully uh, you see me back on the pitch uh, probably early November if we're being realistic, but uh, here today uh, back with the coaching team and uh, looking to make progress in advance. 
As ever, my big focus is on what we do. Our application, our work rate, our desire. They're the absolute basics. They're the minimum requirement to play for this football club. Um, there's a slight change uh, in personnel. I'm bringing Jesse straight in. I want you to continue exactly how you did the other night. Finding those pockets, it's a, it's a good surface. It will potentially be a little bit dry because of the heat and it sticks a little bit. So we'll make sure we get plenty on it. I'm excited by what we've got. I'm really excited by the opportunity in front of us. Get the performance right, the result will look after itself. Yeah, let's make sure it, boys. Let's go, come on. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Hashtag United game. A big one, it's the second preliminary round of the FA Vars. We're going up against Frentford today, a team we played twice last season who were in our league and we won both times 3-0. However, today is a different challenge, different team for Hashtag, of course. One man that is not playing today, but I'm delighted to have with me in commentary, Hashtag Jacko with his rapidly mending leg. How are you? Rapidly? I'm not so sure about rapidly. We're going to get you back soon. I'm forever. feeling good. Before Christmas, maybe? Uh, yeah, hopefully, yeah. I, I'm hoping to be back training December, early December, fingers crossed, and then play in January. Excellent. Assuming I get back in the team, of course. What do you think about today's game? Has got a chance? It's going to be tough. Um, Framford's uh, league form isn't as bad as it may suggest looking at the table. I think they've had three draws, but against some of the top sides in our previous league. So I think it'll be a tough test. It's going to be a great game, massive game if we can win. Let's take a look at the team that's going to be playing today. OK, the team for today is Tim Pittman, uh, keeping his place in between the sticks. In defence, we've got Jack Martin. Fry Singano and Luke Wilson continue their centre-back partnership for the first time in a few games, but they've been very good when they've played together so far. Starting at right-back is Captain Ryan Adams today. Very versatile, as we know. Centre midfield, Ross Gleed and Lee Hersett start. Out on the left, Triple H, Harry Honesty. On the right, it's Albie Keith. And in the hole, for his first official start after a successful trial, the new signing, Jesse Waller Lassen. Looking forward to seeing what he can do. In behind, George Smith, who's up front. No Richo today, unavailable. That means on the bench, we have Kane Brogan, we have Joshua Sude, Cav Clark, Sam Raj Gill, Simon Peddy, Daniel Adji, and Marcus Stamp. It's a big bench because you're allowed seven subs in the FA Vars. Let's see what happens. And Frentford get us underway in the red and white strip today. Hashtag in the away. Blue Kit, we're at a fantastic facility here at Bowers and Pitsy, which is Frentford's home ground for tonight, or today, I should say. Yeah, in fairness to Tim, he's come in and he's had quite a good run of clean sheets so far. He's doing all right. Albie's doing all right here as well, and he's got past a man, and he's had a bit of a shirt pull, which the hashtag bench are appealing for, but the ref's not having any of it. I can only assume the linesman was the wrong side because he's only 15 yards away, so I don't know how he didn't see it. The ref definitely had a clear position of, uh, of view, and it was a foul. He got free past his man, and the man was called Freeman. Very good. Albie on the ball here. Goes back to Ross Gleed, who's shaping up to hit one from distance here. I tell you what, that shot was, was pretty average, but in, in warm-up, he was hitting some unbelievable shots. Yeah, Gleed, he's got it in the locker. We've seen it, well, not so much this season, but last season we see him hit a couple of bangers. He just, he kind of hangs back just outside the 18, drifts onto the ball, and he has got it in the locker. Brentford coming down this right side now. There's a man at the back post calling for it, number 10. Ryan needs to deal with this. He heads it, but only as far as that number 10, Woodward. He's going to try and get a shot off here, curling and straight into the hands of Pittman. No pressure there. It was nearly a good crossfield ball, though. Ryan done well to cut that out. Hands all over George Smith there. And we're going to get the free kick. Yeah, okay. He's bought that one there. George has done well. He'll get a lot of them this season. And Jesse's going to deliver it on the right foot. And we, we've lacked some right-footed set-piece takers of late. Oh, he's but, taking it early. Oh, he's looking for someone in the box. We'll take the so corner there. No, H just kept it in. He's going to go back to Jesse. Another chance to deliver. Oh, great step. Did that against us at Wembley, you might remember, Jacko. No, don't remember it. Wasn't there. Definitely, I could tell you weren't there. <laughs> <laughs> Albie, up against Freeman again. Mm. Just need to draw the foul there, Albie. Just oh, need to draw the foul. You'll get one. You'll get a foul. Keep this alive, though, Albie. Still going here. Oh. Trying to get it on that left foot again. 
H has got time. Iron Robin like. And here is H on his left foot. Can he drill it across? There's the ball. Can't find George Smith though. Jack Martin looking for Ross Glee. Ross Lee Hurst has come across. You go all well the way done. back to Tim well Pittman. Covered, Glee. Do that. We had a lot of joy going back to Tim so far, keeping the ball. He's going to come back to Tim Pittman here. Takes a touch. A little dink over to Luke Wilson. It's quite cultured from Pittman. Take that. He's going to play it to Farai. He's got a man closing him down. Lovely from Farai. Gleedy now has got a burst through. He's so good on the ball though, Gleedy. Well, I say that. Yeah, that's that's what we need. We need we need that. We need to get on the ball. We need to relax and we need to play. There's 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 too much hot potato at the moment. That's a good knock. That's a good knock. Jesse's going to get there, you know. Defenders come across. Maybe pushed him a little bit. George Smith gets a toe to it. Into the side netting. Yeah. It was a tough angle to uh, to try and get a ball on target from there. But better, better. As I say, good areas from Ryan. Jesse's a live wire. Good pass from Luke Wilson here to Lee Hurset. Carry, carry, carry. Now, can he find Albie? He does. Albie, what can you do here? Is he going to go on his left or his right? I think we know it's probably the left. Serve Goes it. back to Ryan Adams. That's not bad, that's not bad. H the far post. to the back. Didn't hear a name, didn't hear a name there. I think I played the Harry for winning it though. I wasn't sure he'd win that. I think it was more Harry's ball than George's, and George was backing onto it. So I don't think there was a name there. Need someone to get hold of the game. Need to grab it by the scruff of the neck. Oh no! Let's come straight to the player here, number eleven, going through. Luke Wilson with some defending to do. Player goes down. The ball's gone off, and they've not put it in anyway. I think we might get himself in trouble for a potential simulation here or maybe descent afterwards. I mean, it wasn't a penalty, but I'm not so sure it was a dive either, but I think his, um, his actions afterwards have done him no favours. Gleedy with a header. Jesse, not been on the ball for a little bit, Jesse. Picks right, out a good pass. Quality. Albie Keith now. What can you do, sir? Trying to cut in on this left again like a young Iron Robin. That's a foul. Gets it to Ryan Adams. He's going to deliver. For George Smith, oh. better, good cross. That's a foul on Albie as well, he's having his shirt tugged. Better, better build-up play all round. Ryan's done well to chase the ball into the corner. Gleedy's picked up the seconds and we've built on it. Lee Hurst with the header. Looking for Harry. Tough challenge again from the six, who's a real stalwart at the back there. Here's where we need to get on the ball and play. Rather than just pumping the ball, we need to get on the ball and play. That is a good ball to Albie from Luke Wilson, though. Freeman again, equal to it, and he's... He defended well against Albi thus far. Comes to Jesse here though, right-footed ball. Great knock. Towards Harry. So we come to Ross Gleed on the edge. Round the corner. Harry Round the honesty. corner. Round the corner. Can he get it across? George Smith's in there. Jesse's oh. there. Trying to get a toe to it. He must have been close to a penalty there. Oh, silly George. Silly George. Strikers challenge. He was unlucky there, Jesse. Um, H done well. Got managed to get the ball across the box. I think there was a melee of two or three. Jesse wasn't on his own. But he was unfortunate not to get a toe on it. We are coming into the game. We're getting the ball in their box a little bit more than we were, but still haven't tested that goal. Well, they've played on here. Luke Wilson stopped. Going to come to number 10. For Frenford trying to get on the left foot here. Puts it across. Chance. Luckily for Hashtag, it doesn't fall to anyone. They're yeah, short on numbers. We just stopped. Harry's found George Smith. Great ball. He's going to look for... Albie, one man to beat. Albie. He could be through here. The number six, though, has oh, been towering defender. Bit of experience there. He's been their best player, has Tandon, so far. Just a strong arm. That's a great knock from Luke. Jesse. Can he get Draw the past foul. his men? Draw it's fantastic from Jesse. Foul. Oh, oh, could have got a penalty, maybe. Still trying to keep so it alive. He, moves, he, he glides, doesn't he? And that is... Right on the whistle, right on the 45 minute mark there. Uh, that is nil-nil at half time. What are your thoughts on the first half, Jacko? As I said, I've said it a couple of times, I think it's been more our lack of quality than uh, than Frenford's quality. They haven't really hurt us when they have hurt us. It's um, it's been our our um, our unfortunate mistakes. But um, there's a lot to build on there. We just need to get hold of the ball. Any changes for you needed, or leave it as it is for now? <sighs> for me, I think no. I think we stay the same. I think we just, as I say, we need to get hold of the ball and we need to. Um, we need to play. Well, uh, test the keeper. I just seem to be over hitting the ball and trying to force it too much. I think um, we need to build. Okay, we'll see what Devs has to say. We'll be back for the second half shortly in this big FA Vars game. The biggest, biggest frustration is that we've been.
completely dominant without looking like scoring a goal. It's because it's almost like we get into that final third and we're overthinking and we're taking that moment too long or that extra unnecessary pass, which leads to a lack of kind of movement in the box because we're waiting to see what the next, is there going to be another chop or is there going to be another setback? You've got yourself in great positions, Alb, and it's that thing about you've got the defender and you've got him stood up and you've got yourself the option of going right or left and it looks as though as you've got him stood up, that's when you start to think about what you want to do. And that's where the delay comes and that's where the indecision comes and that's where they've got the chance of getting back in and banking up or he can then have a nibble at the ball. Get in your mind where you want to take him and then just go and drive it, go and drive it. Yeah, because I mean, he's on a booking for a foul. He'll, he'll, he'll foul again. He's, uh, uh, he's close to going. It's the final ball. Be confident with the final ball. It's, let, it's just that's what's letting us down. It's like we're overthinking it, overcomplicating it. Just move it, move it, move it. We've got good players. Trust the people you're giving the ball to. Give them it, support them. Communication's absolutely key, particularly fullback areas when we support. Come on, we can be, we, we, we've got to be better than this, got to be better. Hashtag United get us underway for the second half. Jesse with kickoff. Can we get the all elusive goal and book a spot in the first round proper? This is the second preliminary round of the FA Vars. Can't find the man in blue. Jack Martin does enough there. Lee's going to come great ball. He's in, he's in, he's in. Harry, Go on, could be a moment, Harry. Gets it out of your feet. Can you get the shot off? Oh, he snatched it. He snatched it. He needed to be a little bit more uh, positive with that first touch. Get across his man. Could have drove. Could have drove in towards the goal more. Unfortunately, by the time he'd taken the first touch, he'd gone too wide and just kind of slicing it. Now Lee Hurst can stretch his legs. He's got Albie on the switch, and Albie's called for it. and He's going to get it. It's a little bit wide for him, so he can't continue his run. But he can keep the ball alive here up against the yellow-carded O'Malley. He tries to beat him here, and it's going to be a, a penalty. Pen. That is a pen. That's Has a pen. to be. Has to it be. is. He could be booked here. He could get booked. He's already on the yellow card. Walk. He could walk. He could have a double. He is. He's going to go. It's a misery compiler is what it is. It's going to be a yellow, making it a red card for O'Malley and a penalty for Hashtag. Is O'Malley going to get the sending off? We haven't seen it yet. He's chatting to the captain. Maybe he's going to not do it, Jacko. No, I think he's taking the book out. Put it back in. That's a, mind. But that's a bizarre decision. The ref has changed his mind. Any other time, anywhere on the pitch, that's a yellow card. That is a bizarre, he's bizarre decision. What is he thinking he's, he's there? He's been talked out of it. He's been talked out of it, the ref. It's not a misery compiler. O'Malley lives for now. What on earth is he thinking there? Let's forget about it for now. Let's make it a positive. Let's get this goal. We missed our last penalty last week. George Smith's first ever penalty for hashtag chance to score and put us in the lead in this big FA Vars game. Come on, George. Get it in. George Smith. Bloody it's mistake. a poor pen. It's a poor pen, though. What is up with us in penalties? You know, our record on penalties is really poor. It's about 50% at best. <laughs> From a goalkeeper, anything along the deck, either side, you've got a good chance of getting your hands on or a piece of your body on. Seems like they've substituted uh, O'Malley. Yeah, he's got away with that, hasn't he, O'Malley? He's got away with... Getting the substitutes. Bar trips come on for O'Malley. Ball in for Frenford here. Headed away by Luke Wilson. Good winner by Luke Wilson. Corner. Oh, it's going to bounce to the front post. Overhead kick off the line by Lee Hursett. Had to be done. Could have been a bad one for There's Hashtag. A chance. There's a chance here, Spin, if he plays. Here we go, Albie Key. Two back door. Won a penalty last time he was in Je this position. Jesse's hanging off at the back stick. Harry's making a run now. Just can't get the ball over the defender and Frenford can come away with it now. Need to be closed down. That's our ball. Number nine getting the other side of Jack Martin here. He's got lucky the nine. And whip it in towards the back. He's going to make it. All the way over for Frenford. Chance to punish hashtag here. Ryan Adams trying to stop it. He's been turned left, right. Shots off. And it's in. It's a good goal. It's a good goal. He's taken it well. Unfortunately, Ryan Adams has got turned inside out. He's missed the initial header. Two games in a row. Not two games in a row because we had the game for Brentwood. But two weekends in a row. We've had a chance to score a penalty. We've not taken it. And the team's gone up the other end and scored. Now, we were 2-0 down this time last week. We're only 1-0 down now. 
But Jacko, we haven't really tested the keeper. We're missing something. No, we haven't done enough. We haven't done enough on the ball. It's uh, it's a similar story to the first half. We seem to be rushing things. It's like a hot potato. We need to get hold of the ball and play. It's the wrong ball, Alps. It's the wrong ball. Ryan Adams. Got a Sude down the line. Sude, it's a good ball, you know. George Smith! Oh, how I think that's a great running? tackle. I think that is a great tackle at the near post by the 12. It's a great ball from Sude, is what it, it was, is. It was. He made something out of nothing. I thought the initial ball, to be honest, from Ryan should have come out to the, this left-hand side. But it's found its way to Josh, and he's putting a wicked cross to the near post. Clean sheet club seems to have uh, fallen by the wayside, but as long as we get results, we don't mind. Lee Hurst with the corner here. Wilson! Oh. Heads it down into the ground, and it bounces. It was off target anyway. Albi sends it long. Headed away. Throw in for hashtag. Come on, boys. We need another big comeback two weeks in a row. Albi's going to get the throw in here from Jack Martin. Looking for a pass. Could come through to George, George Smith. Smith. Got a finish. Yes. Come on, Georgie. Big. We needed a bit of luck. We needed something to fall for us. It's exactly it, what happened. George Smith took the finish. It was Jacko. a big stroke of luck. Albi was trying to play it through, I, I think, to George. But it's taken a big deflection. Come the wrong side of the defender. And even the finish. If I'm being kind to George, wasn't the greatest. It's gone through the keeper, but that's a slice of luck we were desperate for spin. I wonder if we did him with the eyes there, because I'm expecting a Thierry Henry right foot into the bottom right, and I think maybe the keeper was as well, and then he's just changed his mind last minute. Smith gets the throw in off of uh, Martin. Finds Jesse on the edge of the box. Can Jesse get a shot off? Oh, he beats his man very well indeed. It's it! Jesse oh, what a goal Jesse that Waller. is! Jesse Baller Lassen! What a strike and what a way to announce your arrival at the club, Jacko. He's done ever so well there. I like the lad. I've always liked the lad, apart from at Wembley. But he's done well. He's dragged the man and buried it in the bottom left-hand corner. If he can keep scoring goals like that, Jacko, he might get us back to Wembley. Come on, Jesse. Well done. Welcome to the club. Enjoyed that a lot. And it's 2-1. Just like that, it's changed. Just like last week, Jacko, we find ourselves in a precarious situation. We need a hero. We've had two of them. George Smith and Jesse Waller. Lassen. Remember the name. Pittman. The free kick, sending it towards Jesse. It's going to come through. Just, just going over his head. Ryan's going to get there. Take a touch. Good area. George Smith on the ball. Got Albie to his left. He's going to look for Jesse, though. He has a little look over his shoulder. Going to bang it. Going to bang, gonna gonna bang, bang it. From distance here. Oh, it's a lovely little fake shot. We know he likes that. Finds George Smith here, trying to get a shot off. Georgie, creating space out of nothing. Still George Smith. Oh, He did so well until the finish. Everything but the finish. Great play. Great to see uh, Jesse and George interchanging passes as well. Luke Wilson, looking for Jesse here. Going to get it under control. Finds George Smith. Lovely one-two. Can he get a goal? Wants it on that right foot. Gets the shot George off. Smith. George oh. Smith has got to find the target there. He could have had a hat trick today, Jacko. Again, great play by the two two lads up top, Jesse and George. Jesse's done ever so well. He was unlucky with the first shot. George has just got to take his time. All he had to do was just cultured right peg, just put it in the bottom corner, but he's really snatched it. Unlucky. We'll go to extra time if Renford can find an equaliser. Let's hope they don't. A lot of games coming up. We could use a 90-minute game as opposed to 120. Ball comes in. Pittman's looking for it. It's going to go off for a corner. And this is squeaky bum time. Corner's going to come in for Frenford here. And the dying embers of the game. Back post. Headers free. Chance. Oh, for... They've That's scored an injury time equaliser. Two players had 10 yards. Well, it's exaggeration. Five yards around them there. Uh, they both had the chance to hit it. The ball's dropped and we're still not engaged. It's really poor from us. And to be honest with you, do we deserve to go through 2-1 so far through the game? We had a good five minutes. We've had a good five minute spell yeah, and that's it. That's, that's been it. That, that's, that's poor. And we're going to have to find a way because we're going to have extra time to play, I think. That's a gift. We've still got another substitute we can do or two substitutes we can do, actually. Only one's been used so far. Frenford could do it here. Surely not. Switch is going to come over. Oh, Ryan. Ryan, Ryan Adams has not made it. He's put us under pressure here. Ball's going to come in. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I can't believe what I've just seen. Unbelievable. Two goals in two minutes, and that's probably put us out of the FA Vars. Bitterly, bitterly, bitterly disappointing. That's really disappointing. 
So many opportunities. Just a second ago, Asude has gone through from kickoff. And they've gone and done that. And I, I don't see how we're going to stay in this cup, Jacko. No, no. We, we haven't done enough spin, uh, I'll be honest with you. We were talking about going through five minutes ago, and now we find ourselves crashing out. We really missed some experienced players oh. today. Ricky Need Evans, Richo, Jacko, Jack Harrison. And there's the final whistle, and that is very disappointing. Very and that disappointing. is arguably, I would say, our worst result since we've gone non-league. We've had opportunities to kill the game at 2-1. Um, obviously, we've been we, our defensive throughout was shown today. The, the second and the third goal, second especially for me, was, was ridiculous um, from a corner. Two men, both had the opportunity to head, then bring the ball down, then score. Simply not good enough. I need you to pick them out of the match, and you're more than uh, more than welcome to pick someone from the opposition, Jacko. Uh, it wasn't a game of quality. There was a few flashes of brilliance, and, and those were from uh, Jesse Waller Larson. To be honest with you, um, he was our <laughs> our shining light. Everything that good that we did do came through him and from him. Um, so he's by far my standout player. To be honest with you, um, but again, again, it, it just there just wasn't enough from us today. There wasn't enough quality. There wasn't enough goal. There wasn't enough passion. Got to be got to be better than that. We had warning shot warning uh, shots last week. Yeah. Um, and we've got out of jail. And uh, you can't do that against a better team. You can't do that. I will say well done to Frentford. I will say congratulations to them because they move on in the Vars and that's a big result for them. And you know that we beat them twice last season. They've come and got revenge for us in, in the bigger game. So fair play to them and they played well. Devs won't be happy. We're not happy, but we'll bounce back and we'll see what Dev says in the changing room. Last week I spoke about character and I spoke about our character doesn't just happen when you're behind. It happens when scores are level at the beginning of games. It's needed when you're ahead. And today, again, Again, I'm not going to say again because last week showed a lack of character for long periods. Today's shown a lack of char character. Maybe for shorter periods, but it will come back. It will always bite you. I said last week, you won't, you can't, we can't keep getting away with going to goal down, something bad happening and raising our game. And then we get ourselves in a brilliant position. And we're cheap. We're cheap <coughs> with the ball in possession. We cheap out of possession in terms of not defending well enough, hard enough, and giving them opportunity to put the ball in the box. You have had enough of the game to win it comfortably. You've had enough chances. How we've conceded three goals today, I will never know. I think they've had three attempts. I think they've had three attempts and scored three. And we have to take it on the chin. And that's why you don't get carried away. You don't get ahead of yourselves. It's all very well being in the FA Vars or big competitions, all very well being in these competitions. And, and you hear it everywhere, all the time, cup runs, FA Cup, we have a good cup run, we have this run. Not even worth thinking about until they're over. My well, house is over now, so we can think about it. And we've only got ourselves to blame. Jesse, obviously not on the greatest note, but it was your first competitive game for Hashtag. Yep. What are the positives from that? Um, from a personal note, I mean, getting a goal, obviously, I, uh, it's always fun to score goals. And at the time, it was obviously we were drawing one all and we had come back from one nil down. So the fight back was incredible to get up to, to get it back to 2-1. And then obviously it, there were some negatives as well from it. How much does it take out of the whole team in general when you when we take on a loss like that? I mean, it is tough, but I think we're all trying to focus on the positives. I think it's, it's good to look at the negatives and, and try and take them on and try and improve on them. And obviously having fought back from 1-0 down, is that's the positives. And then you've got to look at what we did wrong and what we can do better moving forward. It's, it's fine to make mistakes, but as long as you learn from them, then, then it's all good. And so, yes, guys, this is where the video is going to be wrapped up. I hope you have enjoyed it. It's been a hard day at the office today, Stamps. I don't even know what to say man I think we just took that for granted way too much like before we knew it we were 2-1 up I think we got a little bit comfortable in probably the most vital point in the game where we needed to shut it out mm. two mistakes and as you can see two goals from them and they've nicked the game but I mean we've just had a long old chat in the changing room you know at least you know, we've got the togetherness of the squad and we're talking things out because this cannot continue, man. Like, we, we've got to pick ourselves back up. That's the most important thing in the game of football is to bounce back, man. And we've got them again. We've got them again on Wednesday, so we have we to put things right, man. Have to. We do, and obviously, I think it's part of parcel of football. You know, you have your highs, you have your lows, you have the, 
people right at the top of the Prem that sometimes yeah. lose to some teams and stuff like that. So, but uh, yeah, you did mention the next game we have is against Frentford on Wednesday, and that's in the, in the uh, Essex Senior Cup. So uh, if you want to come and watch that game, be sure to check the links down in the description, keep updated, and make sure you get yourself there. But guys, if you have enjoyed this video, be sure to drop it a like. Subscribe if you are new, and click that notification bell. And as always, don't forget to hashtag it. Look, man, we'll be back. Don't worry, we'll be back.